Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the Express LRS internal module on the new RadioMaster TX12 Mark II. Before we get started, I'll just let you know that I'll have links for what you need in the description so you don't have to worry about capturing them during the video. And I'll also show you the only thing we're focused on today is updating the Express LRS module. So this TX12 Mark II has the ELRS internal module. As you can see, I'm running 2.4.0 right now on my Express LRS module, and I'm going to go ahead and update it to 2.5.1, which is the latest mainline release. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is back out of the Express LRS Lua. I'm just going to return out of that and get back to the main screen. And I'm going to take the USB cable that came with the radio and plug it in right on the top. And when I do that, I'll be prompted on this screen for joystick storage or serial VCP. I want to use serial VCP. It doesn't matter if the module is on or off for this process. You can leave the internal module on or off. It doesn't matter. But if you do want to use the Lua script, you need the module on. So you may as well just turn it on because it doesn't really matter. But go ahead and turn it on. And that way you can use the Lua script when you're done to verify that you've got your firmware updated to the version you want. Okay, that's all we really need to do on the radio. The next thing we'll do is bring up a browser and we're going to go to the Express LRS GitHub. Remember, I'll have links in the description, so don't worry about capturing this. Just kind of watch the screen so you know where to go. Uh, on the GitHub screen, there will be a couple of boxes for Express LRS, a backpack, and the configurator. We're looking for the configurator. So if you click on that one, that'll bring you to a page with a bunch of gobbledygook on it if you're not a programmer. But on the right-hand side, this is the thing you're looking for. It says Express LRS Configurator Latest. Uh, the latest release was July 3rd, 2022. And that version, as of this video, is 1.4.2. If you watch this video at some time in the future, that version number may change. That's okay. Don't sweat it. The process will still be very similar. So as of this video, it's 1.4.2. And we'll scroll down to the bottom, and you have to pick the version that's appropriate for your machine. In my case, I'm running a Windows uh, machine, so I'll grab Express LRS Configurator Setup. 1.4.2.exe. They also have Mac versions. They've got a block map version, a Pac-Man version, an RPM version, uh, Debian. So lots of different options here. Just pick the one that's appropriate for your system. I'm using Windows, so I will click on the executable. Now, once that's done downloading, we can go ahead and run it and that'll bring up an installer and we'll go ahead and install. It doesn't matter what these options are. You can set it for anyone or only me. I'll go ahead and set mine for anybody who uses a computer and I'll hit install. Now I noticed the first time I did this and I'm seeing it again, there's a very long pause in the middle here. So don't sweat that, just leave it alone. It'll, it'll take care of itself. It may be taking old versions out. I'm not sure exactly what this installer is doing, but don't sweat it, just let it finish its thing and it'll install fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up, uh, but I do wanna point out that it is fa a fairly long process. It looks like it's hung right here, but it's not. So I'll speed the video up and we'll come back after the install is finished. Okay, once the install is finished, you'll see a completion box and an option to run the Express LRS configurator. May as well leave that checked and then click on finish. If you've never run the configurator before, your very first run may take some time, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna point that out early. I've run configurator on this machine, so the configurator downloads a bunch of software that it needs to compile the firmware for Express LRS, but if you've never done it before, don't sweat it. Mm -hmm. It'll take a little bit of time, but you'll see it kind of clock through. Okay, under the configurator, we're gonna go ahead and use the official releases. If you leave pre-releases checked, you'll be able to see release versions like 3.0 release candidate one. I'm not gonna install that today because I don't recommend flying with it just yet. Let them finish mainlining this before you put it in your craft. So let's go ahead and stick with one of the mainline versions. We'll use 2.5.1 for our upgrade. As far as the uh, device category goes, you'll click the drop down and we're looking for Radio Master. So just scroll down and you'll look for Radio Master 2.4 gigahertz. Remember that the TX12 Express LRS module is 2.4 gigahertz. So use that one. And then for the device, this might throw a little 
a curve at you, but you want to use the Radio Master Zorro 2400TX. There's no TX12 target in here yet. At some point in the future, they may go ahead and put a TX12 target, and obviously that's the one you'd want to use. But for the interim, go ahead and use the Radio Master Zorro 2400TX. And then uh, once you're done with that, we're going to use Edge TX Pass Through. That's what that VCP selection was when we plugged in the USB cable. Also, I'll remind you download the Lua script. So click the button and then save that Lua script somewhere on your downloads directory and then put it on your SD card after you download it. Don't forget to update your Lua script. And then uh, once you've done that, we'll go ahead and use standard mode. Pick your regulatory domain. For me, I'm in the US, so I'll use ISM 2400. If you're in the EU, you can use the regulatory domain EU 2400. I love the binding phrase on Express LRS. I have ELRS 123 bang, bang, bang for mine, but pick something unique uh, for yours. Remember, this is not secret, so just keep that in mind. This is not a secret. It'll, it, it, is, it goes out in clear text. But when you have a binding phrase that's unique, that means your radio and your, your transmitter and your receiver will bind together without any special button presses or power cycles or anything else. It'll just bind when they power up. Uh, no sync on ARM, go ahead and leave that dis, uh, disabled unless you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, feature open TX sync. This option lowers latency and should be kept enabled, so I'll leave that on. I'm not going to change the TLM interval, we'll leave that stock. I recommend leaving the auto Wi Fi on checked because what that'll do is if there's no other connection established after this period of time, the Wi Fi will be turned on and you can upload firmware if you need to. So, just another way to get firmware on your transmitter. If you want your radio to connect to your house Wi-Fi, you can do that as well by checking home Wi-Fi SSID and putting in the name of your SSID and your password. And after that period of time, the transmitter will also connect to your house Wi-Fi, get an IP address, and you can actually update the transmitter over the Wi-Fi in your house. So go ahead and leave those options checked. And then after that, one thing you should see in your drop-down list is the some COM port. Mine says COM3 STM microelectronics. Microelectronics, uh, that's the USB driver. COM3, that could be a random port. So yours may not say COM3, but if you see something along this line, that means you're in pretty good shape and you shouldn't have any problems flashing. If you don't, what you want to look for is in your device manager under this line, ports, COM, and LPT. You want to see when you plug the radio in something that looks like STM microelectronics virtual COM port. Okay, that's what you're looking for. If not, you need to download an STM driver and install that. Okay, so after we've done all of that, the next thing to do is click build and flash. Now remember what I said earlier? If this is the first time you've ever compiled an Express LRS binary, it might take a little while to download the software needed for the compile. I've compiled plenty on mine, so I've already got all the software, so it goes kind of fast. Okay, the compile is finished, and now it's trying to initialize the COM port, COM3 at 460800. And then once you see these write tags start flying by, that means you're in pretty good shape, and it's actually writing to your Express LRS module. So this only takes a few seconds, and when it's done, we'll unplug the radio and take a look at our new firmware. Okay, here's the line we're looking for, that nice green bar that says success. And remember, don't forget to update your Lua script. So I'm gonna click back, and I'll remind you, we use release version 2.5.1. So when I bring the camera back on and bring the radio up, we'll go ahead and disconnect the USB cable, hit system, and then load up the Express LRS Lua. And you should see at the bottom 2.5.1, which is right there. So that's it. That's how you upgrade the internal Express LRS module on the Radio Master TX12 Mark II. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Get out there and fly something. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.